Hello folks, uh, on, Algo, on compiler course there is an uh, example named next use algorithm example and it is a bit confusing for many of us uh, to understand uh, so uh, on code generation segment uh, the example next use algorithm example I'm going to show an explanation approach how to solve this thing the main goal of this uh, next use algorithm example solving is to find out which variable is live and which variable is dead in which line so the, this is the given code there are 10 line numbers and there are some variables so first of all we need uh, in the table you are seeing that first of all we are giving uh, variable names okay under the variable names we are jotting down the temporary variables denoting by t one t2 T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, all these are temporary variables. So we first jot down the temporary variables and then we try to find out what are other variables in the code. We find it here that A, B, uh, I and prod are the other variables here. So we are putting down all those things. And the, mm, the next thing is to initialize the variable. Okay, remember one thing that temporary variables initially we are considering it as dead and the other variables are considered it as live at zero number line so by default we are saving these values l0 means live at line number zero defaultly it is live at zero number line but uh, uh, at initial step we are considering these values okay now go to line number 10 at line number 10 which what are you seeing like here i i is less than or equal to 20 then go to that 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 so uh, i each and every time is live here right so i is giving you the decision so i is live so we so i should be live we should put here l okay sorry um copy and paste it okay it is live here but which line number it is it is live at line number 10 okay now what will happen to the other variables the other variables will be similar as the initial step because for line number 10 the immediate uh, stage is initial stage now we are at line number 9 okay in line number 9 which variable is live t7 is live and which one is dead i is no more live i should be dead because here i the value of i will be related by the value of t7 so t7 is live okay so on t7 we will be put live option and which line it is it is line number nine so putting l9 here and which one is dead here i is dead so what will be the others the others will be as same as line number 10 because the immediate line before the line number 9 is line number 10 so the value will be similar as line number 10 10 okay so we are copying the values from there now go to line number 8 at line number 8 variable i is live and t7 is dead so i is live okay so i is live at line number what 8 and which one is dead t7 is dead putting a big D on T7 okay so what will be the others the others will be as same as line number 9 is the immediate. okay now comes to the point of line number 7 at line number 7 T6 is live prod is dead T6 is live okay. T6 is live. Which line number? Line number 7, not 6. Okay. And prod is dead. So we're putting a D prod. So what will be the others? The others will be SMS line number 8. Okay, now for line number 6, prod is live, t5 is live, prod is live, first of all t5 is live, so we're putting t5 is live on line number 6, 
and which another one is prod is live okay we are putting l6 over here also and which one is dead we need to see all this thing also t6 is dead so putting d so the rest of the values will be sms line number seven okay for line number five t2 and t4 is live t2 and t4 is live and which one is dead t5 is dead so putting d on t5 and the rest of the values will be same as line number six just copy and paste okay for line number four T3 is live, B is live, T3 is live, B is live, and what will be dead, T4 is dead, sad, pathetic, because it is dead, and the rest of the values will be as same as line number 5. For line number three, variable i is live. Okay. For line number three, variable i is live. Okay. Let's see. And t3 is dead. And the rest of the values will be similar as line number four. Okay. For line number two, D1 is live, A is live. D1 is live and A is live. Okay. And which one is dead? T2 is dead. What will be the rest? The rest of the values will be similar as line number three because before line number two there is line number three so we copy the immediate before steps values copy for line number one we are saying that variable i is live so i'm putting l and we're putting one because it is line number one is live and which one is dead t1 is dead and what will be the rest of the values? The rest of the values will be similar as line number two. So that's you were constructing the table actually. So after constructing the table, what will be the outcome? Okay. Now this is the given algorithm and I'm denoting line numbers here. Okay. Um, sorry. So at line number 10, which one is live here actually? Actually, here live is. So basically, what we do is we, for final answer, we are giving uh, tricks. And in the slide, you are saying that at the final stage, what is the output? Wait. Okay these are the outputs right so okay for line number 10 i is live but we put the default value of i zero now for line number nine okay for line number nine check in this table which one is dead how many variables are using here i and t7 okay put i equal and T7 equal okay here i is dead right so as i is dead so for line number nine pop in the dead state you are seeing that in line number nine i is dead so check line number 10 what is the value of i l10 put it down l10 and you are seeing that t7 is l9 so what is the value of t7 at line number 10 d dead so put d here 
okay at line number eight what are the variables using a t7 okay equal i2 so t for line number eight we are at line number eight what are the values are here t7 it is d here line number eight but what is the value of line number nine here l9 so you're putting l9 here. and for i we're at line number eight so we always try to identify what is the value of d at line number nine it is d so you're putting d here okay for t7 there are two variable variables one is prod and another one is t6 okay we are now line number seven so we'll check down line number eight prod prod we are in line number seven so immediate previous value is line number zero so on prod we'll put line number zero and t6 right so t6 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 and line number uh we're at line number seven so showing the line number eight it is d so put d okay so for line number six there are some other variables like t6 prod and t5 okay so for t6 for line number 6 t6 immediate for line number 7 when it's taking the value it is l7 so putting l7 here for prod line number 6 so what is the value of prod at line number 7 it is d put d here uh, sorry D here and what is the value of T5 T5 L6 immediate line number 7 it is dead so put D here so thus we actually uh, construct the whole table hope it